So while you're in game, it tells you how long until your tournament. See? There are automated tournaments for StarCraft. They're best out of ones, and there are three rounds. They're pretty cool. So if we go to our trophy case, we can like view previous tournaments, and you can see Protoss, Terran, Zerg. So three rounds, best out of ones. I hope they work more with this system. No problem. Drone rushed in a GM tournament. I don't know what you're talking about. I uh, I don't remember this thing you're talking about. <laughs> We're against a Protoss player. I'm struggling in this matchup. I understand a lot of it, but uh, or like the general concept of it, and I do tend to win against like other GMs. Like today in the DreamHack qualifiers, or I guess now technically yesterday, wow, my day is going by fast. Um, 4 o'clock in the morning, it's almost 5. <laughs> but uh, yesterday in the DreamHack qualifiers, we 2 won like a top 20 GM Protoss or something like that. So I can beat them, but it's difficult for me. Hey dude. I just got promoted to Masters and I wanted to come here and thank you for your stream. I played less than a hundred games during HOT so I started off LOTV really behind. And you helped catch me back up. Hey, that's awesome to hear, Spelky. That is way cool, like a hundred games in Heart of the Swarm and you're already Masters? Wow. Honestly, that takes a lot of like natural talent too. Like, I don't know if, if you're really good at learning and picking up stuff or adapting or what it is, but that's crazy. That is way crazy. Congratulations, man. And thank you for your donation. We're gonna open up a reactor. The reactor is the stronger opener at the moment because it's safer against all ins and cheeses. And now we're gonna go scout for an expansion. He's scouting for my expansion, which is pretty normal. So there is an expansion, less likely that there is cheese, but it doesn't prevent it, because he can drop pylons at the bottom. The reactor is better against it if he does, but it doesn't prevent it. Now, I know it seems like we have 100 gas, so you want your factory, right? Why not just skip the marines and get the factory first? Well, if you skip the marines, then you're weaker to the pylon cheese, and it's really difficult to survive it because you need the marine DPS to kill the pylons. Also, with your first two marines, if the if he attacks you with your first, um, if he sends an adept, you have time until your other two marines arrive before. Uh, you know, before it's a problem, because four marines can take on an adept, and you have four marines by the time the adept reaches your base if he goes for an expansion. So we're just gonna hide up here for now. We're fine. There's no need to do anything. We can stand at the top of the ramp and try to surprise him, but he just needs to send his shade up, so it's no big deal. We can, however, if we really want to. Oh, it was too late. It was too late. I was gonna say we can like put them right here and try to surprise him that way. Oh. Upgrade complete. Uh, so we're just driving him off and I wanna see what his tech is. It's a Stargate. So that's cool. It doesn't seem like he's going for a third yet because of how many complete. pylons he has. Although he could probably afford a third. It doesn't seem like he's going for it. And since we saw the Stargate, I think we still have time, by the way, before it hits. So we're going to get this sneaky, sneaky third command center in already. We're not going to poke too far. I wanted to see if I can kill the Adept, but uh, no. Alright, let's go home. Now we want a Liberator. The Liberator is a little early uh, for this. how early we got this third command center. We could have waited a little bit. 
Now I'm gonna put the Marines at my natural because the Oracle can come soon and the Cyclone in my main because you're more likely to hit the main because there are more SCVs there and I personally I'm not having a lot of fun with the siege tanks so I'm gonna go for double Cyclone into bio oh there it is now there is one problem is he can okay I'm gonna send this out to cheese even though a phoenix can stop okay uh, let me rephrase that okay so a phoenix can come over and lift up my cyclone and deal a lot of damage with the oracle but I don't um, if he does that then the liberator on his side of the map can deal a lot of damage to him so what we're doing is we're anticipating him Please. wanting to do this Complete. and we're gonna send this out however now it's kind of looking like he doesn't want to do it so the phoenix might be home but maybe we can still do some damage and let's plant you here there's a forge and a twilight council there's not a lot of damage yet but it's still pretty good let's get out of here and no we won't be able to escape so let's just siege up and force him to uh, mine a little less we weren't gonna be able to get away so might as well take a second to make him afraid to uh, start mining Complete. so there were quite a few Phoenix Complete. There's uh, certain ways that we can handle this. We can like play defensive. He probably has his third along the way. But how I want to respond right now for a personal preference is I'm going to go ahead. Oh. Very nice. I'm going to go ahead and make double liberator production. Oh, you know what? I can build you on top of this tech lab. I'm gonna go for double liberator production. And the reason I'm doing this, and these marines are still staying here because, you know, yeah, Phoenix can come in and be annoying or an uh, uh, war prism. But the reason I'm doing this is because the double production is pretty good at taking on mass Phoenix, and we don't know if he's going for mass Phoenix. But it's also, you've, you'll eventually need liberators, so it's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this here and move these over to Mineral defend this space. Depleted. Now we saw a Twilight Council. Now we need to know what his composition is. And there's a lot of adepts. So here's kind of what we want to do. <clears throat> we know there's a lot of adepts and they're very good at running into our army. So we want to siege up, but now what about the phoenix, you know, don't they just do a lot of damage? Well we're going to get two turrets, because we already have one okay. here to Add stop on. the phoenix. Complete. We have to split our marines up a little bit. I could get uh, marauders, and I should get a few, but they are, oops, depots. they're pretty gas heavy. And you're going to, wait, you know what, that's too much, too much gas, they're pretty gas heavy. Your forces are under attack. And I don't want to waste all my gas. Research complete. Because okay, so if I get these these gas geysers, I slow down my command center here and my extra barracks. His build is like Phoenix Dark Templar. It feels like it's supposed to deal damage because the later the game goes on, the worse it is. So let's split up a little bit. We knew that he probably was going to attack. So we were pretty spread. The Phoenix are being killed. Yeah. So we kind of had a rough idea of what he wanted to do. And um, because we got these missile turrets, the Phoenix died very fast. And the Widow Mines under the widow mines under the um and now we're gonna get start getting medevacs because we were thinking we want to push but the widow mines under the liberators made it so if he zooms in then he takes a lot of damage and if he does zoom in uh you know we just want to split up a little bit 
so that we don't splash our own marines. So he zoomed in under the liberators, which we have covering the ground under it. So we are in a pretty good position. He shouldn't have done it. We know that was his focus, but he shouldn't have done it like that. All right, we're gonna go ahead and this is too greedy. All right, let's go for a lot of more liberators. Oops, a few more widow mines. Exit and play. This is fine. It feels like he wants to do another attack. Add on complete. Yeah, it. I was right. So he does want to do another attack. I'm just gonna keep these here for a second. No, I want to kind of pressure this. Run, run, run! I want the planetary to finish. Add on complete. All right. Now we want marauders in the composition. Once the planetary space finishes, the is space is pretty attack. secure. It's fine if we lose workers. I'm gonna take one away. Add on complete. He sh he should be trying to do an attack. But he's not. Your are under he's just trying to throw away the adepts that are no longer Add very good. Complete. Upgrade. Complete. All right. The phoenix were trying to Your snipe my stuff back here. Attack. We are hitting a timing two two, which is nice. Upgrade. Um, which complete. means we can probably do an attack. I'm gonna send one marine forward, kind of keep an eye out. I know that his war prison is right here. I'm just gonna rally outside the base. And I need liberator range. Your forces are under attack. That's fine. It's a lot of adepts. I feel pretty comfortable against this. Oh, High Templar? Yeah, you're transitioning into High Templar. Why don't the Widow Mines do their job? Oh, I guess not. Your forces are under attack. <clears throat> we do have an upgrade advantage. I need more liberators. I want this closed. Mineral field depleted. Upgrade complete. Okay, cancel the shades. We need more gas. I'm gonna put one over here. And two over here. Yeah, that's enough. We don't really need more SCVs. Uh, I want two more medivacs. I want at least four. And I do want to repair these. And I should wait for 3-3 three, three now. Are you getting Tempest? You are. Okay, you're getting a lot of Tempests. So I'm gonna get some more Marines. And then use the rest of my gas on Vikings. Upgrade. And then maybe push uh, with the Vikings. I do want some more Widow Mines. I want the Vikings to distract and um, field depleted. Your the Tempest. Are under attack.
Yeah. He's not on okay. my side of the map. He's on his side. Which means if we push out... Oh. Mineral field depleted. Oh. I need more depots. I guess I lost a few or something. I thought I had more. He wants to delay our attack. Is there a detector here? There must be. Oh, there it is. Because he was able to hit the widow mine. I'm gonna see if I can come up from top. Vestine geyser exhausted. Mineral field. Using the shades as a scout. Uh oh. Mineral field depleted. Okay, I have to be more careful. I'm being too aggressive, and I have to get some. Upgrade. Some storms <clears throat> or some EMPs. Where is your army? Mineral field. There it is. We kill that, which is nice. Oh, whoops. You have this base? You do. Let's back up. Got war prism from earlier. Base is under Darn. attack. He has no attack upgrades on these. So he's really relying on Storm. Base is under attack. I don't know if I got it. I want to see if you get that expo. <clears throat> now comes the difficult part where I have to control so many armies. Excuse me. Oh! Oh shit! I didn't know he was right here. Lost all your storms. I'm not sure who's winning this fight. I think we are. Yeah, we are. Which means you're probably out of storms. Double check? Yeah. So let's come on over. No warpings. I don't want that. Let's kill the Archon that's morphing. And then go for your economy. I want your workers. Under There's no point in chasing down your Tempest. There's just a few of them. You don't have that base. You don't have that base. Uh oh. Your forces are complete. How about these? Nope. Your forces are under Which attack. means we just killed all your money. There is a storm. A single one. Your forces I just dodged that one. There we go. And that's game. 